Skywatch Media News for the third week of September 2021. NASA recently confirmed that an asteroid with destructive capabilities is hurtling towards our planet at an incredible speed. But should we be heading for the bunkers? The space rock called 2021 NY1 measures up to 1,000 feet in diameter, making it a very large asteroid. It will enter the Earth's orbit, heading towards us at a speed of nearly 21,000 miles per hour. Mark your calendars for September the 22nd, when the potentially dangerous near-Earth object will make its approach, coming within just 930,000 miles of our planet. While that number may not seem like a close approach, in terms of outer space, its distance is very significant. When we consider distances, the Moon is just under 239,000 miles from Earth. That means that asteroid NY1 is less than four lunar distances from Earth, which puts it into the category of a near-Earth object. The likelihood of an impact seems remote, but that's assuming that the Yarkovsky effect, which can change an asteroid's orbital path, doesn't play a role in the orbit of this particular asteroid. This is the main reason why NASA has classified asteroid NY1 as a near-Earth object, which is defined as any asteroid or comet whose orbit is less than 1.3 astronomical units or 124 million miles in proximity to the Earth. This asteroid is also considered as a dangerous or hazardous object because the gravitational tug of the planets could, over a period of time, cause the object's orbital path to evolve into an Earth-crossing orbit where it would approach within 4.5 million miles, which allows for the possibility of a collision at some future date. Since this asteroid will pass within 930,000 miles, it will become more of a risk factor. According to space reference data, NY1 orbits the Sun every 1,400 days coming as close as 92 million miles and reaching as far as 362 million miles from the Sun. But now it will be saying hello to the Earth as it crosses its orbital path. Does that mean that we should be concerned? The probability of a collision this time around is unlikely, but not impossible, since it is NASA that stated that a large asteroid is due to strike the Earth every 2,000 years, but not to worry for at least the next 100 years. Sounds reassuring, but should we breathe a sigh of relief? The space agency tells us that they are doing their job by monitoring and alerting us whenever a celestial object approaches, but it appears that they are doing it mainly for the benefit of scientists rather than for the benefit of the public. Asteroid NY1 is coming on the heels of several asteroids that have recently passed within one lunar distance of the Earth. On September the 8th, an asteroid designated 2021 RS2 came within 13,945 miles of our planet, making it the closest asteroid approach of the year 2021 and the 21st closest on record. Its estimated diameter was between 8 and 17 feet. It may be worth noting that the two closest flybys on record occurred in the year 2020, with asteroid 2020 QG coming within 1,830 miles on August the 16th, and asteroid 2020 VT4 on November the 13th, which crossed just 230 miles above the Earth's surface. The flyby of RS2 on September the 8th was quickly followed by asteroid 2021 RP2 at a distance of 74,000 miles. On September the 9th, another asteroid named 2021 RQ2 flew past us at a distance of 117,000 miles. On September the 11th and 12th, two additional asteroids came within one lunar distance of the Earth. The first was 2021 RG6, measuring between 14 and 32 feet. 
it came within 52,980 miles of our planet. It was followed by asteroid 2021 RR5, which measures between 18 and 42 feet. This asteroid came within 49,250 miles of Earth, and it becomes the 86th known asteroid to fly past our planet within one lunar distance since the beginning of the year. On September the 13th, astronomers from around the world who were observing the ongoing transit of the shadow of Jupiter's moon low observed a bright flash of light on the planet's surface. The most likely explanation for the sudden flash of light was the impact of an asteroid over 300 feet in diameter. The impact of the space rock was visible for about two seconds. According to the American Meteor Society, the number of fireball events over the past decade has steadily increased both in number and intensity, as shown here. The latest statistics indicate that 2021 is on track to be another banner year, possibly outpacing the previous year's totals. On September the 15th, a meteoroid from an asteroid hit the atmosphere, traveling around 76,000 kilometers per hour over the skies of southern Spain. Its luminosity was equivalent to a full moon, visible as far as 372 miles from its point of entry. The fireball entered at an altitude of 56 miles and ended its journey 13 miles above the ground. The phenomenon was recorded by the detectors of the Southwest Europe Fireball and Meteor Network observatories. Here are a few of the most recent meteor and fireball events across the EU. On September the 7th, a powerful 7.0 earthquake shook southwest Mexico near the beach resort of Acapulco. The earthquake was felt 200 miles away in Mexico City as residents fled into the streets. Buildings swayed, sidewalks undulated, and blue lights burst brilliantly in the sky. Video footage shows the incredible scenes unfolding as the sky turned blue with mystery flashes lasting nearly a minute.
Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.